Alright, here's the trailer. You have this. Some rust here. But, you oiled this up and it works good. This is good. Also came with this, so that's cool. It's very light. Uh, it's easy to to go around. You know, to pull around on that. I, I do like these windows here. It's got a uh, new water tank in the back. Under Well, inside you can't see it, so there's the outlet. Here's the power and the windows. You saw the two cracked windows. The uh, woman's uh, son with a BB gun years and years ago. He's now actually in Iraq. Uh, no, he's he was in Iraq. He's now in actually Afghanistan. He's a army ranger. Here's the uh, tires. You see he's got some rust around there. This is a problem I had because it seems to pop off. It's got this here and then it doesn't seem to stick into this here. It doesn't, it doesn't lock in. It actually popped off on me on the way home. Uh, there's the other broken window. You got the original black plate. And then let's take a look. Oh, yeah. This is a little cut, but not bad. Uh, I'm not sure how to fix that. And then under here, everything looks pretty solid. Uh, past the tap test. The brake works, although uh, currently I don't have a... Uh, brake hookup on my, uh, which one call it, on my trailer car, well, my, my hitch, that's what I'm talking about. So then we've got the, uh, door here. Door sticks a little. It's weird, like, when you open it from this side, you get a little nudge here, but when you open it from this side, it's, it's flat with the door. So here, see, flat, not flat. Flat, opens easy. Not flat. Door's in good shape. A little water damage down here, but, you know, really not much. Got this door. Pretty much perfect condition with the screens. Don't have to do any of that. And here's some floor shots. That's all original. Then here's a jack thing. This needs to be fixed. It needs to pretty easy, just pick something up in here. And then this, same thing. Pick something up here. And I'm not sure what these are, if these are original. Don't know what what you put in there. Here's the closet. It's uh sticks a little bit not much, just a little tight. I already put my camping jackets in here, because, heck, I don't need them in the house, considering it's like, going to be 80 today, and, um, got some extra hosing and stuff, this is the bedding area, it's a little bit of a mess, uh, I like this material, we've got a bunch of it for the, uh, windows, and for the bedding, it's got a uh, curtain here to put this part off, and then a second cot here. I like the hams where it's got the, the fold-out bed a little more, but hey, you know what, I'm not picky. Cot goes in there. You get your sink. This isn't the original, but the original is actually in this bucket. She's got, she's got that there. And it's difficult to get it going. If you pour a little water down here, it goes all right. And here's the sink, you know, obvious that. Uh, here we go. Up in here. Cabinets. I get some bottles of wine over there, or, or whatnot, or whatever we want to do. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, and I gotta fix, fix this. But that's easy, you know. And here's the stove. In the oven, both work. Original plate with the warning. Got our keys here. This is actually what we use to hook uh, to lock in the the trailer from the ball hitch. It's pretty easy. Fits perfect. It's the exact size. All our keys. We got 
you know, magazine books up here, the original <laughs> propane light and the electric light. I want to do something with this, you know, Jen doesn't really like it, and I guess if Jen doesn't like it, that means I don't like it. Now for this, these, they're kind of ripped on the other side, we actually flipped them out on the other side. Oh, this is our Reminisce magazine, uh, Great Outdoors, it's a current magazine that just shows all old pictures and stuff like that. And this episode, this one is actually Camping Chronicles. Haven't read it yet, just got it in the mail. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Here's more shots of the floor. Trusted fly swatter. Use this in the house right now. I don't know where we're being eaten by, but for us, flies. And, uh, there's a piece of wood missing here, I think. But, I'm not sure. And the water damage really is pretty minimal right there. There's a little over here in the front corner, but that's about it. So, all told, it's a pretty good shape trailer. Over here is a little bit, but, you know, nothing bad. Nothing bad, especially for a 53-year-old trailer. Original icebox. Got some stuff in there. So, we're doing pretty good. We can't wait to take it camping. Can't wait to take it out.